Hey everyone, and welcome back to Main Deck. Today we have another MTG Commander game we're playing on Spell Table for you. Um, again, this was a game that was arranged on our Discord, so if you are one of the big fans of MTG Commander that exists in the world, which of which there are very, very many, um, please feel free to join us on our Discord, or if you play any other TCGs, join us on our Discord. We have a great uh, system set up for finding games and playing online, and uh, you can certainly come in and be on one of our next episodes. We'd love to have you. So... Um, in this commander game, we've already gotten our decks shuffled up. What we're going to do this time is we're going to start with our first player, um, Adam, and, and we're just going to have everyone introduce themselves and introduce what deck they're playing and tell us a little bit about what you're trying to accomplish with your deck. So, Adam, why don't you kick it off? I, I'm playing Kethis, the Hidden Hand, and I'm playing Legendary Tribal. And I'm just trying to play as many Legendaries as I can and get board control or just overwhelm the board with Legends. Nice. Hey, uh, I'm Taylor. Uh, I'm playing uh, Yidris, Maelstrom Wanderer. Um, he's just here for the colors. All I really care about is uh, flooding the board uh, with a bunch of permanents and then making a big Warp World deck or, or activation and uh, flooding the board with even more permanents. Very cool. I'm excited for Warp World. Um, I am Dan, as you guys all know, and I'm playing... Shadrick Silver Quill today, and I've, this is kind of an interesting deck where I tried to maximize each of Shadrick's abilities in sort of a control shell. So I think I'm going to be a little bit of the police in this game, uh, but at the same time, I'm going to be making a lot of tokens. I'm going to be putting a lot of plus one, plus one counters on things, and sometimes making people draw cards, um, maybe myself, maybe someone who needs it. We'll see. And then finally, yeah. Uh, my name is Dylan, and I'm playing Adrix and Nev, the Twin Casters. And my whole goal is to double all the tokens I'm producing, and just to absolutely overflow with tokens. Okay. So with that said, Adam, why don't you kick off the first turn of the game? Let's go. All right. I'm gonna draw uh, Temple of Plenty. Let's cry. And I'll keep that on top. And pass. Uh, I'm just going to play Watery Grave tapped. Pass. Okay, I'm going to draw. And I am going to play a Godless Shrine tapped. And pass the turn as well. I'm going to play a... Mosswort Bridge, the hideaway land. Uh, I get to look at the top four and place one under it. Dylan, did you forget to draw? No, I drew. Okay. He just didn't declare it. Uh. So I this lets me play Exile card if creatures I control have power 10 or greater. So I just get to cast the card. So I will put So this. far you have power zero. And we'll put that under the Mossford Bridge. Where do the rest go? Uh, bottom. Okay. That's me. Did you put a land under it? Yeah. Oh. Nice. <laughs> the value. Um, everyone has swamps now. Player of Oregon Pass. Yes. My plain swamp is now a plain swamp. Appreciate that. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks. Didn't see that. Uh, all right. Play Forest, uh, play an Arcane Signet, and pass. Ooh, he's ramping hard. All right, I'm going to draw and... Well, um, I'm just going to play an Orzhov Basilica and bring my Godless Shrine back to hand so you guys can't do anything about it. And then I'm going to pass the turn. Uh, discard? You are correct. I'm going to discard a card. <laughs> I tried to pull one over on you. Yeah. You got me. Um, I'm going to discard this planes. Oh, uh, I will play a Yavamaya Coast as my turn and end it. I'll draw. I'll play an isolated chapel and I'll cast a Kethis. And I'll pass. 
We have first commander on board. Yeah, it's nice when you have a three cost commander. Uh, I'll play an island. I kind of said my commander was just here for colors as well, but I, I will cast him unexpectedly and pass. Okay. Try and not discard a card this time if I can. I'm going to play Tainted Field. Oh good, I was really worried you only had two lands. <laughs> I wouldn't have discarded the planes then. <laughs> oh, that's true. And I'm going to play Crowded Crypt. Uh, uh, Innistrad Midnight Hunt Commander card. And then I'm going to pass the turn after that. Oh, uh, yeah, that on one. your end step. That one. Go ahead. Um, I am going to do nothing. Go to my turn. Draw a card. I will play a Snow-Covered Island. And then I will tap all my lands to play a Treasure Chest. And say go. Right. Treasure okay. chest. What's this all about? Uh, Just making uh, treasure tokens, I suppose. Yeah, and if I get uh, the twenty, I get two. Canopy uh, Vista tapped. What do you get to do with that if you had twenty? You get to search my deck for a uh, mirror battle sphere and put a ton of mirrors into play. Ah, I see what, <laughs> I'll play, I what you're trying to do. Nissa Vastwood Seer. To go for a forest. And put a forest into my hand. Um, Dan, I'll attack you for th three. Me? Yes, Why me? you. You don't, have do? any, you don't have any blockers, and you said you are going to be uh, the fun police? That's that could fair. be to your benefit, you know. Yeah, the fun police is important. It's to stop Taylor from warp worlding us to death. But I'll remember this. Let me get this commander damage recorded. And I'll pass. Uh, I, yeah, feel like, is... I feel like Dan needs more blue in his deck if he's going to stop me from warp worlding. I don't want to stop you from warp worlding. <laughs> I just want to get my tokens out first. Oh, this is excellent. Uh, okay. Well, um, I'm going to start by attacking. I'll attack Dylan just to keep it fair for five. Cool. Um, and now he's dealt damage, so all of my spells get Cascade. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, okay. And so I will start by evoking a Wave Sifter. Um, so on the stack, Cascade. And I paid two, but it looks at the converted mana cost, so I get to cascade for something. That before. is a potent play. And I found a gluttonous troll. And when he comes into play, I get to make a food token uh, equal to the number of opponents I have. So I'll give me three food tokens. Taylor, what exactly is happening right now? Uh, I'm getting concerned. Nothing's <laughs> happening. I'm just making a lot of tokens. Uh, the wave sifter is going to resolve now and uh, create uh, two clue tokens and sacrifice the Wave Sifter since it was evoked. Um, and then I am going to cast a Talisman of Curiosity, uh, Cascading again, and this is going to take a while probably. Do you have anything other than Soul Ring at one? Uh, I have a Glimpse of Tomorrow, so it's either Soul Ring or Glimpse of Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh good thank you for providing the content for our viewers yep so you guys can go ahead everybody just you gotta really go slow this. here and you can learn every card in taylor's deck yep. just screen cap this and you can play it back at your leisure he strategically placed the glare on his screen so you can't <laughs> see the cards <laughs> yep there's the soul ring there's the soul ring um so that enters curiosity enters um okay one two three four five six seven mana what's warp world again eight it is eight um, oh good i only have one red source but uh i'm going to uh i'll cast a soul uh, using the soul ring i'll cast another talisman and now i'll actually get the the glimpse 
Uh, I'm just going to show you this and grab it. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, hey, Adam, remember how you hated the fun police? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he also had a blocker. What we need is a Vandal Blast now. He had a blocker who would have died to your Kethis, right? <laughs> that is correct. Isn't Yidris a 5-4? Kethis has a five four. Oh no, Kethis doesn't. Why did I think Kethis has death touch? I'm sorry. No. For some reason, and I I made that up entirely in my head. I thought, yeah, Kethis has death touch. Of course, everybody knows that. Uh, (laughs) Not. I'm looking at it right here. Not true at all. uh, So this talisman is on the stack. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, glimpse is only me, but that is still going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, Uh, seven, eight, thirteen permanents. <laughs> and is there shuffling? I'll send my my Yidris back to the command zone. Okay, so I better pull this up so our viewers know what this does. This is a warp world for Taylor. <laughs> Unfortunately, I I really wish this was a warp world for everybody because I'd be pretty good at this point in the game. Yep. But... It, I mean, it'd be better next turn, and if you would have had all those artifacts, that would. I was going to copy all your artifacts. Gross. I mean, you still, you might have that opportunity here, depending yeah, on how Yeah, that's true. Goes. There's going to be a lot of things in here, yeah. because, Taylor, this correct me if I'm wrong, this this Glimpse and Warp World are the only non-permanent cards in your deck, is that right? That is correct. <laughs> so is... he's getting either 12 or 13 permanents. The whole, we just want to maximize that effect. I knew I should have got rid of your dress. You had the option to? Oh, I didn't think about it. All right, so there's five. Oh, man. Ten, the stupid ten, treasure eight. chest is going to cost us the game. You're going to blame it all on the treasure chest. All right. So L- look at all these things he's getting. Stuff is coming in. Oh, man, you're making my job really hard right now, Taylor. I got to click on all these things. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, all right, I you... will pay four life to get my blood crypt and steam vents into play tapped. Uh, hey guys, we hit him. Uh, I've got, got a bajillion triggers here now. Um, so reclamation stage will come in. I will target the uh, treasure chest. Aww. Uh, let's see. This is in the graveyard now. Okay. Um, I get two land trigger thingies three of them i guess and we technically uh, should be putting like all these triggers on the stack and resolving them so yes. I don't know. Just yeah make sure so, you do the order you want here yep the search lands are going to be the last things i do okay. um cavalier will be bef- right before that and then i think i just have this investigate to do now so i get one clue there i get a look at the top five or i guess reveal the top five and put a land into play and but the rest Wait, of the you, you, the tireless. Yeah, the tireless triggers off all the lands. Yeah. Oh, yes, it does. He's going to see all those lands. So you're so getting lots six. of clues. Yeah, we'll start at six. And we're going to get one more off the Cavalier. And I'll grab the command tower. And the other ones go into my graveyard. Three forests and a deep uh, forest hermit. And then uh, he resolves. So now all these guys. Uh, so I'll, I'll tap my mountain for red in response to the spring, spring boom trigger and uh, resolve that and then resolve the other two uh, search. So I'm searching for two basics, a basic forest or island, and then another basic. Uh, let's see. So Grab that and that and that. And yeah. Okay, so I'm grabbing forest, island, mountain, forest. So and they all come into play tapped, and I get four more clues. Well, at least those come into play tapped. So you you're still gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana available. Yes, because now that all my triggers have resolved, the talisman is going to resolve. And Don't. cast the warp world from your hand too. Uh, if only. <laughs> oh, if only. Oh yeah, and you still have the cascade trigger from Idris. I sure do. Um, this has been. That's so much better than I could have ever hoped for. <laughs> um, let's oh see. Oh my goodness! 
I'm going to start by cracking a clue and putting a plus one plus one counter on my tracker. Draw your card. Not what Warp I wanted. World. Um. Let's see. Let's do it one more time. Sorry, I kind of uh, assumed nobody has responses. Uh, You're good. No, okay. I don't. There is two mana open Dylan's on the treasure chest. Yeah. All right, I'll cast. Not a that he Mel could activate it anyway. But... Cast a null mage shepherd and cascade off that. Oh, wonderful! Grabbing a Briarbridge tracker, uh, so that's going to give me a clue. Uh, so I'll be back up to nine clues, and then I will uh, let's see, cast or play my land for the turn, get one more clue. And then, but you still hadn't done your land drop. I have no. not. <laughs> and then I will um, pass the turn because I don't think I attacked already. I can't. We've got two Is mana that, up. So yeah, that's all you're doing. That's all I'm doing. So pretty simple. Oh. <laughs> okay. I've had her, Dan. Yeah, just a nice, nice, easy turn. Turn four. Uh, turn four here. Yeah. yeah. Real simple. All right then. So well, I'll you... draw a card. <laughs> um, let's see. So I have four mana available. Hmm. Well, I don't have any real good answers to whatever is happening right now. I have something I can do, but like I don't actually think it's that impactful. I could hold up something else instead. So I'm going to play this Godless Shrine tapped. Um, and then I'm going to pass the turn. Actually, oh, this is so bad. I can't, yeah, I can't even do the one response I thought. Yep, I'm passing the turn. That's all. Draw my card. I just realized that he basically hard counters the one thing I could do to try and like slow him down <laughs> with what he has on board. So <laughs> great. The dream. Okay, so what is some of this stuff? What does the null mage do? Uh, so null mage, I can tap any f on a tap for untapped creatures I control to destroy target artifact or enchantment. Um, the Briar Bridge is just a, a dude yeah. with vigilance. Tyler's tracker is getting big off clues. Cavalier. Cavalier is an enter and a leave, enter. right? Yeah. So if it when it dies, I can grab a card from my graveyard uh, and put it on top of my library. And then Omen of the Hunt just lets you scry if you sack it. Correct. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then you have twelve artifacts, I see. Uh. uh yes. Okay. I'm gonna play a vine glimmer snarl, revealing a forest. Wow! And then passing my turn. Cool. And uh, <laughs> what's stopping you from answering Tyler's board? Taylor's board. Uh, Taylor's board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm horrible. Null mage shepherd. I can get rid of null mage. Okay. Uh, I can't answer his whole board, by the way. I said slow him down, just to be clear. Right. Slow him down. <laughs> and I can't do it at instant speed either, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're just going to chill here and watch Taylor do more nonsense. I will vindicate the Null Mage. Oh, that's unfortunate. In response, I will um, tap some dudes and blow up Dan's crowded clip crypt. Lame. So I think that's it for artifacts and enchantments on your guys' boards, right? Yes. And uh, that is my turn. You could tap some creatures to destroy your soul ring. Uh, no, I used too many actually. Oh, um, you're right. Don't you're have right. Enough. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. All right. I just there's a pile of cards there, so I just assumed you could. No, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, end of turn. I'll I'll draw another card with a clue. And pump my tracker. Hold on, hold on. Uh oh. No, never mind. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> and drop it. Untap. 
And it's draw. weird playing a blue deck. Yeah, I'm sure you're not used to it at all, huh? Um, I will play a treasure map. Oh, my favorite card! And then I'm going to activate it and scry one. And put that on the bottom. And then I will... Rack a clue and draw a card. And pump tracker again. That's pretty good. Okay. Uh, I'll do some more things. Cast a Chatterfang, a uh, Squirrel General. Uh, uh -huh. So now all the tokens I make are going to give me squirrels. And yep. I'll crack another clue. Excellent. Okay. Uh, play land for turn, get a clue, get a squirrel. And then I have five mana. I will use that to cast Possibility Storm. Oh. Um, I, uh, you have a response, Dylan. It sounds like you have a response. Okay. Whenever a player casts a spell from his or her hand. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I won't be able to do anything about the board if that's on there. So, wait, does that that keeps me from oh, cast spell from hand so your commander still can come down? Yep. Okay. Right. I will let it resolve, but the next time I have priority, let me know. Um. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move to attacks. Go ahead, Dylan. Cast something at random. Uh. Go ahead and declare attacks. Okay. Um, for letting that resolve, Dylan, I will spare you. Let's see, and this guy can't attack either. I wish right. I had that crowded crypt still. <laughs> um, and you've got some big things. Okay. I will send um, the Cavalier and the Tyler Tracker at Adam, and I'll send everybody else at Dan. So you have 13 coming at you, Adam. Dan, you have uh, 10. I will take 10. I, I will, will declare blockers first. I will double okay. block. Or block both of them. Okay. Okay. My go? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to cast Curious Herd to so, cast a random instant. Yep. What do we got? Do I reveal? Uh, you exile cards uh, from your library until you exile a card that shares a card type with it. Okay. Rampage of Clans. Destroy all artifact and enchantments. For each permanent destroyed this way, its controller creates a 3 3 green centaur. Oh, that's fantastic. You, I don't yeah, think you, that's what I wanted to happen. No. Actually. Actually, that's great. Great. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. So, I. Oh yeah, it'll destroy the possibility storm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't care what else happens. I want the storm dead. So. And then I put him on the bottom of the ramp. Okay. And he also doubles up on his tokens because he's creating more tokens yeah. and so chatterfang. Squirrel for each one. Yes. I have. <laughs> what, what's happening right now is totally ludicrous, actually. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to make 13 3 3 centaurs and 13 squirrels. Um, so let's see. I don't have a centaur token handy, so we'll, I'll just use. Uh, what? Why don't you? Uh, Why didn't we... you bring a centaur token for this yeah, this I exact circumstance? We overlooked that, actually. <laughs> well, here, let me just hand you mine. Uh, but there we go. I now have 13 centaurs. Okay, and Dylan will be uh, right over with the squirrels. centaur token for you. Just hang on. Uh, Before uh, damage? Gonna... Yes. I'm going to cycle Takanuma. Abandon Mire. Ch channel it? Yeah, right, channel it, yeah. All right, one, two, three. Why are you doing the before damage? Yeah, because it 
channel ability is cheaper. Oh, right, right. Yep. I forgot about that. They're about to yeah, And I uh, mill Kaya, Okina, and then final parting. And so I have no creatures. Talk no creatures. I don't know how to spell it, and you didn't have it in frame long enough. Talking Talk to Yeah. T A K E. T A K E, okay. Mill and return a creature of sir. Okay. Um, all right. And then I uh, am done for the turn. I have to pull and up block our, damage. Uh, viewers here. There it is. And yeah, I take ten. Okay. Awesome. Yep. Pass. Okay, my turn. I will play a planes. And then um, I am going to cast for three mana. Out of time. Out of time. Ah, that's perfect. A devil. Oh, okay, that's that's fine. Um, that's gonna be a lot of stuff. So, uh, right. Six. So this this isn't oh the gosh. ideal answer because it's answerable, but it's gonna phase everything out for a very silly number of turns. It at least so, gets rid of all of his tokens. Uh, it'd give me the total number well, of creatures. No, it, they just phase out. Never mind. It phases them so they're not gone. Yeah. yeah. Yes, that's the problem. But um, so yeah, this is gonna have thirty-four yep. counters on it. And, uh, <laughs> all these in the corner over uh, here. And if we guess... destroy the out of time, it goes away, right? Correct. It's until mm -hmm. it leaves play. Yes. Once it leaves play, everything will phase back in. And they're untapped for what it's worth as well. Yes. Um, and then I am also going to play an Idol of Oblivion. And then I'm going to pass the turn. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. I think I'm going to take this slight breathing room to finally cast my commander. Seems reasonable. And pass my turn. App. Draw. Hmm. <laughs> I will cast an eternal witness, getting back Nissa. Everyone else over here just trying to do fair stuff. Yep, and I'll pass. That's why we need police like Dan. Yep. Unfortunately, that was my least useful policing spell right now. <laughs> it's It will delay things until Taylor has an answer. Well, how many permit artifact removal is, or enchantment removal is there? Probably quite a bit. Uh, there's a decent amount, yeah. Let's see, I am going to cast my commander and pay the tax for him. Um, and then I will pass. See okay. fair magic. Yep. Uh, I will remove one counter from out of time, bringing it to 33. So if it stays here, all those creatures will phase back in in 33 turns. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Draco. <laughs> Uh, make a time for my plan. Yeah, I just get a kick out of the card. It's really funny. <laughs> it's super cool. Uh, I have not created any tokens. Um, I am gonna pass. I don't have a land drop, unfortunately. I'm missing it here it's because I it's because I discarded that planes earlier. No. <laughs> On tap, I keep draw. I will play a fetid grove, flooded grove. I mean, it is a swamp, so it's probably fetid, right? It is also a swamp, yes. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. I think we just do that. Okay, we're going to cast Sakashima, copying Adrix and Nev. Okay, I like it. Um, and I will say go. 
on on tap. Uh, I'm going to end up with 33 Yidrises on my table next year. Oh, that sounds real nice. <laughs> uh, I don't know how you do Nissa. that, but I want to see it. That's how you get 33 instances of Cascade. Uh, grab a forest. Card you cast. Yes. Play a forest. <laughs> that would be so ludicrous. I don't even know if that'd be fun to resolve. Oh, yes, it would. It would, it would be. <laughs> I mean, fun. basically, as soon as we're done resolving it, we just like shake hands and call it a game. But like, uh, you have to go through the first thirty-three cascade trigger. Cast Mox Amber. Yep. I will pass. Mox Amber, nice. What does that do? Yeah, That's one for a sweet card in that deck. Yeah. If you thought uh, resolving that glimpse of tomorrow was fun, resolving 33 oh. cascade triggers would be even better. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, all right. Well, I am going to swing at Dan since he doesn't have anybody on the board with my Idris. I have a question. Mm. Um, can I get graveyard counts? I have uh, two. I have five cards. And how many of those are creatures for no None. particular reason? Same thing to you, Taylor. I have uh, two, three creatures in my graveyard of thir out of 13. Three? Yep. That's um, not enough. They're all phased out is the problem, Dan. I, yeah, I'm aware of how <laughs> inopportune the sequence here was. Um, okay, I'll take five. Oh, hold no. on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, 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 no blocks. All right, and so priority goes to me after Dan? Yep. 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 So I've, I will, yes. I will cyclonic rift for Yidris. Oh, that's really rude. Uh, I yeah. like that. Thank you. Okay. He goes to my hand. Um, I thought about cyclonic rifting. You're out of time, just to get rid of him because then he would recast the out of time. Oh, that would have been <laughs> excellent. <laughs> that would have and been pretty funny. Yidris would have been phased out. Uh, well, main phase two. I'll recast him, and I'll play a land for the turn. And um, how many cards do you have in hand, Taylor? Uh, only four. Okay. Oh, yes. Um, shoot, not yes. This is <laughs> the other one. No. <laughs> oh, I'm one mana short. That's all right. Um. I will still cast a Green Warden of Marasa. Ooh. Pretty spicy. And... Okay, hang on a sec. Green Warden? I gotta pull that boy up. Forget what he does. With what I think it is. It's yeah, a big when he enters the battlefield, he's gonna return. Okay, um, what are you targeting, Taylor? I am going to target my Glimpse of Tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna respond. Okay. I'm going to cast Release to Memory, targeting your graveyard. Or target you. Sorry. I have to remember how it works. Targeting you. Uh, big rude. That resolves. <laughs> <laughs> is it per card or is it per creature? Per, I'm going to make a spirit with flying for each creature that is okay. exiled this way. Or sorry, colorless spirit. This is from Kamigawa. Okay. Uh, just a colorless spirit for each creature that's exiled this way. You get three spirits. I will get three spirits. And I will pass. At the end of your turn, I am going to tap Idol of Oblivion to draw a card, since I made a token this turn. Excellent. That's a really good card. Mm-hmm. OK, and then my turn. We will remove a counter from this. It's now at 30, 32 turns, guys. That's the clock. <laughs> 32 turns to beat Taylor. Can you do it? Draw. Oh, okay. What do we have here? <laughs> like saying is like, I don't remember what this card does. Um, hmm. It seems good. I feel like that's one of those good ones. And I feel like I don't have a land drop again. <laughs> Just... 
It's just unfortunate. I well, need four lands. At least one of them is a bounce land, but I kind of gave up the advantage of that by discarding a land. Boy, if I had one more land, I'd be really happy right now, but I don't. Um, I am just going to pass the turn. I'm doing I'm really exciting magic, guys. Pass Untap. <laughs> Upkeep. Draw. I'm going to cast Sahili's Artistry, targeting Gidris and uh, Idol of Oblivion. Okay, hang on. Whoa, oh, I, whoa, whoa. I, I have priority first. Okay, That's yep. Correct. Adam, how do you respond? Mythro, uh, mythos of Nethroi destroying uh, Yidris. Can you, can you target something else? Wait, Why? no, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's fine. Go for it. Yeah, do it. Do what you want to do. Yeah, I just don't want him getting a lot of Yidrises. He does. Yep. yep. Command zoning him. Yes. Kay. Okay. Um, I have no response. You don't have eight mana to crack your idol. I don't. That would be a sick response. No, but <laughs> feel feel free. Take the idol uh, yeah. copy. I get which you can then immediately activate. To Hold make, on. To How many card? idols do I get? Four. Oh, you I get have four. two Adric you, you get four. Yep. Four uh, idols. This is bad. I mean, I was gonna have four Yidrises, and then the legend rule wouldn't apply because of Sakashima. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 So then yeah, I'm gonna, gonna draw, draw four, four cards. cards. Yep. What did you want me to target, Dan? The idol. Yeah, but him having a bunch of cascade triggers on four of those is Boy, also it's, not the it's, greatest. It's almost like I had mana untapped. <laughs> <laughs> almost, it's almost like that. Not I'm, quite. I'm going to play Balagad Recovery as my land for turn. Uh huh. Excellent. And then I will move to combat. Uh, how big is the Green Warden? Oh, I have two twos. Never mind. I'm done. High four. Yeah. These are both two twos. Never mind, Taylor. You're my friend now. Save us. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I like this change in alliances. Ah. Man, I wanted four Yidruses. That would have been sweet. Mm. That would have been too good. One is already good enough. <laughs> uh, I'm getting anything. <laughs> One card in my hand does nothing over webcam, really. Completely forgot that it's in here. What? What? You playing a Mind Slaver? No, I okay. don't have Mind Slaver. Because I refused to try and resolve a Mind Slaver over spell table <laughs> after we did one time. That sounds Didn't you guys like go into another room and start another video call and like say what was going to happen? It was It was just the most miserable <laughs> experience trying to manage that. It was worse than the Dominion Primordial that had like God. six copies in. Calitas. Traitor of Get. Yep. And I will pass the turn. Got a cool mask. Instead, exile and you get a zombie. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. Non token. Mm -hmm. So you're paying a mana for Yidris now? Oh, you passed, sorry. Uh, that is correct. Yes. Non-token? Who has non-token creatures? Uh, yeah, let's cast that Yidris. Let's get him. Uh, well, hold on. <laughs> um, let's get. Let's attack Dylan for uh, five here. Oh, why would you hit me? You blew my Yidris. I like it. I didn't blow him up. I returned him. Adam blew him up. I don't know. I mean, somebody blew him up. Somebody did Adam. blow him up. And the only reason he got blown up was because of that artistry. So it's kind of like you did. Oh, okay. I think that's reasonable. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I hate to agree, but yeah, it's fair. And then um, I'll play a watery grave. Tapped for my turn. Oh boy. Luckily, you keep playing him, so the chances I get to copy him are just higher and higher every time. That's I true. wish I could. I wish I had one more mana. I, I screwed myself so badly having to discard <laughs> that land. <laughs> this is the best story of the game. Uh, I think I'm just going to pass to that. Uh, at the end of your turn. Yeah. 
So, okay, so this is why Adam could have targeted the idol and we could have stopped a lot of pain here, but I was hoping things would just work out better. <laughs> and to be honest, I just wasn't calculating how insane this artistry play was. So this is going to be sort of a, a weak play, but I'm going to Kaya's Guile, which I cannot entwine because I'm one mana short. Um... And I'm going to have each opponent sack a creature right now, which will be exiled due to the Calidus. Uh, how is the replacement with that on commanders? You can always do the commander, basically. Okay, but does he still get the Kalidus trigger? I think that's because um, the death rule changed from a couple years ago, right? He still gets it? Yeah, it's still, yes. it's still yeah, he'll still get it. So I He'll may... just take it from the exile zone and put it in the command zone. So two zombies... Uh, yes. Uh. And we'll just keep that Yidris off the board a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> and at least um, neuter Dylan's token production until he recasts his creature. So I mean, I'm still getting double. It's some Yes, I know, but... <laughs> I mean, Look, I I'm doing what I can here, okay? Eldrazi's? Or is it 10? Ten? 10s. Yeah, two ten tens. They're ten tens. I'm gonna uh, start my turn. I'm gonna draw or upkeep. I remove a counter. Thirty one turns remain. Excellent. Um, I will play a land. Yay! All right. Yay! Oh, nice. Just in time. <laughs> and um, because things are really not looking wonderful for me right now, uh, I don't really have any other option but to get this down. I'm gonna play. Court of Grace. This is going to make me the monarch. Oh. During my upkeep, I'll either make a spirit or if I'm the monarch, I'm going to make an angel. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of my turn, as I am the monarch, I will draw a card. Hey, Dan. Yes, sir. Should I get rid of Shak Sakashima too? It seems like a good idea. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there. English on Megan's Sakashima. Okay. <laughs> Is exiled? Exiled. Okay. Why do that when you could English on making the out of time? Because um, I don't want to help you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dylan still Taylor. gets to, Dylan still gets to draw four friend. cards every single no, time. No, I have to make a token. token. Yeah, 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 well, okay. In your token making deck, that'll be really tough. Pass it will turn. be. It'll be very <laughs> difficult. On top of you draw. All right, here's the command tower. I have eight mana available. I am going to cast Io Waste Blob. Uh, oozes I control get plus one, plus one. And at the beginning of my upkeep, if I control a commander... Oh, wait, can I take that back? Sure. Okay. We'll give you one. Everybody gets one. <laughs> Okay, I'm spending five mana. He finished making... reading his card after casting it, which I'm is a pro move. We've all been there. Play a Tender Shoot Dryad. It has Ascend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have the oh, yeah. City's Blessing. You have the City's Blessing. Uh, at the beginning of each cup keep, I create a 1-1 one, one green sapling creature token. And saplings I control uh, get plus two, plus two, as long as I have the City's Blessing. Each upkeep, I love it. Um, So... That'll end my turn. At the beginning of your upkeep, I create a sapling. Uh, this it'll be this token, and it's a three-three. Hey, that's a spirit. That's confusing. I, I don't, will... put, don't put the tokens on it. Draw. Yeah, or the counters hey, on it. I mean. Hey Dan. Yep. Oh, can I poke you for two? Uh, well, if I say no, you'll just attack with everything, and then I'll lose my spirits. So, yes. Uh, I will attack you for two with Nyssa. No blocks. Uh, I'm be I'm going to be good. And that was, not that's just... very noble of you, Dan. Hey, Dan, can, can you pass me that monarch token? Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, look, it got a blue sleeve suddenly. <laughs> 
can change start. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, true. <laughs> I will play Murmuring Bosk. I will not reveal anything. Uh, Nissa will transform since that's my seventh land. Into uh, Nissa Sage Animist. I will plus her to reveal the top. If it's land, it gets put into play. Okay, it's a Savala. She goes to hand. Returned. All right. Um, I, I can kind of keep returned. people. I'll cast uh, Shieldred, Whispering One. Oh. Oh. oh no. Interesting. Oh wait, I'll just have to sacrifice uh the tokens. The 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 one ones? Yeah, one of the one ones. The three yeah, threes. No, you'll you'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. And I will pass, and since I'm monarch, I will draw a card. Alright. Be uh, in your upkeep. Yep. Sacrifice a creature. Yes. Uh my Green Warden dies and is exiled due to Colitus. And I get a zombie. Yep. Bill gets a spirit. Draw for oh turn. Boy. Um, you guys, this is too tough to keep control over. <laughs> it's too much happening. I'm sorry. All right. So let's cast a... Um, a Weirding Wood... Uh, targeting my forest. Wait, hold on. That's an enchantment. Yes. What is mm -hmm. that? Uh, it when it enters the battlefield, investigate enchant land. Sorry, uh, when it enters the battlefield, investigate Oops. and enchanted land has tap add two mana of any one color to your mana pool. In response, I'm going to draw four cards. Please do. Uh, does it resolve after that? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I'll get my clue. And then I will crack my clue to draw a card. Um, okay. I will play my land for the turn. Uh, let's see. So I need 10 mana to cast that dude. Great. I will play a Talisman of Indulgence, and then I will cast Deidreus for 10 mana. There he is again. Just in time to be sacked at the start of the next turn. Yeah, I, I'm hoping somebody takes care of that beforehand. But <laughs> well, pass. it doesn't really hurt me that much. <laughs> okay, uh, untap. Upkeep, we have several triggers. Um, I'm going to sack one of these spirits, the Shieldred. We're going to remove a counter from out of time. It is down to 30, which I guess I'll... I was being silly anyway. Should have done this with the... Eight sided die is the three. Um, and then I'm going to make. I don't actually have a white black spirit token. I'm going to just make a white one and it'll be fine. It's also black. Just like all the lands are also swamps. <laughs> and then After I'm the Court of one. Grace, I thought that was a white token. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking of the Kaya's Guile from earlier. It, my brain was all mixed up. It is just a white spirit. So that's correct. I have the correct token. And then draw a card. And I'm going to tap my Idol of Oblivion to draw another card. This made a token this turn. I will play Vault of the Archangel. Hold on. Oh, you're good. You can't respond. I still have priority. <laughs> <laughs> um, then, my card's good, but not really what I need right now. Um, how, how big is that tender shoot dryad? The tender shoot dryad is a two, two. Oh, this is really sad. I'm going to do it. I'm sorry. Okay. Fine. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tap seven Okay. and let's add another Praetor to the party. How about that? Elish Norn? Ooh. Oh, so, no. My creature's plus two, plus two, and everyone else is minus two, minus two. Hold on, hold on, dead. hold on, hold on, hold okay. on. Well, that's on the back. Dylan's going to respond. Um, I 
we are going to... That's all your mana? That's all of it. We're going to Pongify Kalidus. Oh. Interesting. I have that token now. Interesting. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and figure out the 200 IQ move as the turns go on. I think he just doesn't want his Dryad exiled. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. That makes it's, sense. It's not too. It's twenty IQ. It's not. <laughs> okay. It's, I mean, I it's the monkey token IQ. What, like, what's average IQ? One hundred. It feels like a solid one hundred IQ play. I wouldn't sell your soul short on that. Um. Hey, Adam. That's pretty high. Mm. Uh, I'm not even going to ask you. I'm just going to attack you with this 3-3. Three, three. Oh, wait. That came you with these two. Yep, I'm attacking you with these two 3-3 three, three spirits. You can feel free to block one if you'd like. Yeah, I'll block one, and I'll take three. Cool. Uh, you ready? Uh, ready? And then, yep, yeah, yep, yep. Uh, wait, hang on. Yep, yeah, pass it over there. There oh, it is. There you go. Okay, I got it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, end of my turn, I will draw a card. And I, I did have the ape. You have the ape? Wow. Yeah, I have the ape. Oh, nice. All right, untap up keep. I will play a Hinterland Harbor. I control a forest or island. You do. I can confirm that. You also control a swamp. Yes, I do. Okay, so, Mr. Draw four cards whenever I make a token. What do we got I going on? Unfortunately, the tokens die pretty quickly right now, mm -hmm. most of them. And my commander dies, too. That's ouchy. Very yep. ouchy. F and and I'm one mana short of what I want to do. <laughs> These dang praetors, man. Yeah, they keep invading everywhere. Uh, we'll just get. Oh god. Oh, this is. This is not as perplexing as I thought it was. I'm gonna pay two mana, get an idol of oblivion, and end my turn. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! I'm tapped. Five idol of oblivion. Yet he cannot draw one card. <laughs> yeah, I cannot uh, draw any yeah. cards. Untap, upkeep. Let's bring back eternal witness. Let's see. And I will grab final parting with the eternal witness. What is final party? And the, the Eternal Witness dies. Yep. In fact, before the trigger even resolves, yeah. it is dead. Draw. I will plus Nissa to look at the top card. Ooh. It's a, a reveal. It's a command tower, so it comes into play. Dan, with your judge knowledge, would it die before you declare targets for the trigger? The you have to declare you have to declare the target and put it on the stack before state based actions are checked. State state right. based effects are checked. Cool, cool. So then it would have the target, and then it would be in the graveyard at that point. Okay. And then the t trigger resolves. All right. Yeah, you can't return itself. <laughs> yep, that's what I was wondering. I will cast Final Party. I will cast uh, Spell Swindle. Oh. Oh, hey now. 
Your final parting is that like you tutor yeah. one thing and you, you tutor. You look another. for two cards, put one into the graveyard, one into hand. Yeah. It says Dylan gets five treasures and draws five <laughs> cards. I would say it says that. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it does. Sort of really, really bad card for Adam actually in that in that case. <laughs> These are my treasures. Yeah, Adam, I'll that seemed like a pretty bad card to give Dylan five treasures and five cards. You want to know mana. what I? You want to know what I think about that? And what do you think about that? I'll attack you for four, Dan. You can't block it. Swamp block. Rude. Hold on. Let me read my new cards. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I'd have a swamp anyway. Yeah. It's not your Urborg doing anything. Dylan's got to read his cards. Hang on. <laughs> he might have another Pongify. Hold on. I might have a 300 level IQ play if I can get Shildred to show up on the search. S H E O. So he's a 4 4 right now? Yeah, it's a 4 mm -hmm. 4. Perfect. Uh, I think we're, I'm going to facilitate a. Praetor and Praetor fight. I'm going to use my five treasures in the Mosswort Bridge to cast Sublime Epiphany. I'm going to uh, return target. Uh... Oh wait, this didn't work the way I wanted it to. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think this works the way you want it to. Oh well. Um, we will return. Yeah, because it's to return non land. I have a swamp anyway. Yeah. Take this back. The Urborg doesn't do it. All right. We gave you one already, but you can have another. Okay. Uh, I mean, you haven't chosen modes, so technically you haven't cast. Yes, yet. that's true. Oh, that, oh yeah. yeah. Cool. Great judge answer. Thank you. All right. Uh, I passed my priority. Okay. I take four. All right. And I will pass my turn, and on end step, I'll draw a card. Uh, oh, that was your turn. Yes, okay. Let's untap. And draw. I'm going to find my warp world naturally one of these turns. And it was not this turn, unfortunately. <laughs> but I will cast a colony heart. Oh, I've got to sacrifice my Idris. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Uh, I'll cast a Colony Heart Expedition. I will play a Yabamaya. So now you all have forests and swamps and trigger landfall. Oh, man, you're not going to get me with a forest walker now, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Hit Adam. He's got the... the oh, yeah, he's the monarch. Um, oh, yes. And then uh, I'll cast uh, Solemn Simulacrum and search up a basic. And, and it immediately dies... Away. Oh, this is great. I get to draw a card. Congratulations. Ah. Um, you actually draw the card first. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so this is sweet. Okay. All right. So now I am now I am searching after I've drawn. Beautiful. Uh, searching for a basic. Don't want that one. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that works. Um, surprisingly few basics left in the deck. Um, I thought I had quite a few in there, but I guess not. Um, so he's died. He died. True by card. Um, that's not going to do anything. I will pass. Okay. 29 more turns. Let's go. <laughs> yep. Bring the counter down to 29. <laughs> you guys are on a pretty swift clock. I mean, I could At the rate this block. is going, it might actually trigger. Um, I'm going to sack the spirit to Shieldred. We'll make a second flying spirit. Which I have here somewhere. And then draw a card. I'm going to tap Idol of Oblivion to draw another. That is pretty funny. Okay, I am going to play a Fabled Passage, and I'm going to crack it just right away.
And I don't think it really matters too much what I get here. But I'm looking for a planes anyway. Get a planes. Do you control four or more lands? I do. Okay. At this point, it's fair to check on me after the missing a few land drops in the mid game there, but. Hey, Adam, do you have any flying creatures? No, I do not. Interesting. <laughs> All right, well then, I am going to One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to cast Shadrix. Ooh, finally. He's finally out. Okay. Um, and then move to combat. Can I draw a and, card? Sorry? Can I draw a card with him? Yes. I, 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 no, you're not going to get to draw a card. Sorry. Well, will I get a 2-1? <laughs> uh, at the beginning of All combat, right. I am going to... No, it's not going to be you, Dylan. I'm going to give okay. Adam um, a fly, a 2-1 flying token. Nice. And I'm going to put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on all of my creatures as well. So, Adam, you get a token and then it dies right away? Yep. Hey, Dan. Yep. Before you hit me, okay. you do know the best way to get rid of all, uh, Dylan's uh, five uh, Oblivion Idols, right? Is to kill Dylan. Dylan's not doing anything right now. Yeah, his five Oblivion He's... Idols aren't hurting anybody. Yeah, you know, The play I tried to make six Idrises was the time to stop me. I'm not a threat right now. You're still drawing a lot of cards. Yeah, we... Hey, Adam. I like that. Mm. You keep stealing my Monarch. This isn't This isn't about Dylan. You're trying <laughs> you to deflect right now. Yeah. Adam, you're the only one who hasn't been fun policed yet. Adam, I'm attacking you. The Spirit <laughs> is attacking you. Okay. I'm sure Dan hasn't been fun police either. And uh, Elish Norn is attacking Nissa. I, I will block uh, with the ape. Hold on. on. Elish. Before damage. Dylan's got something to do. Mm. While Dylan is thinking, I would do the opposite. Oh, sorry, go ahead. This is doing the opposite of what I'll be. Go ahead. Okay. Right. So damage. Okay. I yep. take four. Ape sacrifices himself to Nissa yeah. to save Nissa, and you take All four. Right. Yeah, you get the monarch back. And I will take that. Thank you. Take that right back. And then I am going to pass the turn. On your end step, I'm going to cast a perplexing test, returning all. Non-token creatures to their owner's hand. Non-token creatures. Ooh, interesting. Um, I think that's fine. Or no, wait, because then I'll have to discard, won't I? I'm at seven cards right now. Hmm. Nope. I'm going to respond to that, Dylan. Okay. I'm going to Teferi's Protection. Yep. So, bye, children. Yep. Uh, oh, wait a second. <laughs> this is great. Uh, out of time phases out. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. No, it has, but it doesn't leave the battlefield. Oh right? no! Yes, yeah, correct. No. Yep. Yeah. Yes. It doesn't um, leave. But, it's just. Yeah, because they not there. It's well. It's treated as though they don't exist. Um, I'm you don't get sure. the battlefield triggers. There's, you don't. So, right? Um, nope. That's not a. Is it a trigger? It's it well, just no. 
it says it it, it, it says it, but it's exactly. until it leaves the battlefield yeah and, let's, it, and it's not leaving the battlefield right i will i will make sure while you guys are taking your turns yeah this Here. is wild okay so it is my turn right it, it is yep on tap upkeep oops draw I will play a scavenger grounds. Classic Dylan card. <laughs> yeah. No comment. I just need a token, man. How many lands do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the twelve mana with the thing. This is heaven plus six thirteen. Mm, sorry for the dead radio. Um, well, what are you thinking here? Uh, I'm thinking I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 mana available. Uh, that makes it so that I have 5 left. Which means I cannot do that. So let's keep up that. So I guess if we do... Yeah, we'll do it that way. So 1, 2... Uh, we'll keep up the scavenger grounds. No, I'm kidding. Uh, 3... Yeah, just to confirm... Just, I, as I as I mentioned, as I thought, one shot effects that are waiting until this leaves the battlefield, such as banishing light, won't happen when a permanent phase is mm. on. So, okay. just so just so anyone who gets confused about that understands that it's really weird, but yes. it's both not here and here at the same time. Yep, yep, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, I will cast Adrix and Nev, and I will end my turn having to discard one, two. I'll have to discard three. So I will discard uh, Rampant Growth. I will discard... While Dylan's discarding, Lighted I'm going to cast... Uh, Eladomri's Call. Eladomri's Call. And Bio Waste Blob. Seven. Wait, you're casting what? Eladomri's oh. Call. He's searching for a creature. Hold on. Dylan always has to respond to every tutor Adam does for some reason. <laughs> I approve of it. It just, it might be a perfect chance to do a thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, and then you no, go ahead. One it's fine. Plus, if that's the case. Yeah. No, it's yeah. good. I'd end up having to discord more cards. Uh, make sure you do something with your commander before the uh, dance stuff phases back in. Oh, when does that happen? Uh, start of my turn. Yep. Oh, wait. I can counter a triggered ability, right? You can't counter them phasing back in. Oh, okay. That's not a triggered ability. Okay. Well, that would be, just be really, really excellent bad. counter, by the way. <laughs> that would be pretty <laughs> disgusting. But yeah, it's it's just a delayed action. They'll just come back in. Okay. We'll just be sad. Uh, someone okay. had said so, that... So Adam's resolving the Eladomri's call? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm getting Reiki. History of Kamigawa. Uh, someone had said that Dan had not been fun policed yet, and I, I think he fun policed himself when he discarded that planes to the Basilica. Yeah, he That's did. very true. Yeah. Things would have been a lot tap. smoother if I hadn't done that. <laughs> Draw. All right, Adam, are we seeing Shield Rid again? Uh, I'm going to plus Nissa. And it's a, what is it, foot and cemetery? Woodland Cemetery. Okay. 
Okay. I'll cast uh, Reiki. No, not she altered again. Okay. Oh, wait, Ricky dies. Not yet. Oh, yeah. Um, he'll he'll die at the start of my turn. I did not. Unless, of course, take back. you kill Dan before his turn starts. I can't okay, kill Adam, him. You can have your one take back. Go for it. Wait, we only get one? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Right on. You're you're doing this on a video right now. You're expected to be better. <laughs> uh, Sovala uh, Explorer returned. It's a zero two. I say that after our last video had um, a red green white deck with a black identity card in it for like five turns. Yeah, just like sitting there and everyone's like, I don't know, whatever. I'll play Kethos. <laughs> to be fair, all of our lands have black identity right now. No, they don't. No, Swamp is not. Uh, inherently having an, having swamp oh, on it doesn't, doesn't make them have black, identity. black. Yeah, and I'll pass. Right. Okay. You can now tap for any color. Back in the day, you couldn't mm -hmm. tap. You, if you tried to tap for any color, you got colorless because they I don't know because they had weird rules like that. Oh, this is sweet. Okay. Uh, I'll cast Teamer Ascendancy. Ooh, um, creatures I control have haste, and whenever. A uh, creature with power four greater enters the battlefield. I get to draw a card, uh, and then I'm going to cast a uh, Yidris for twelve. <laughs> Here he comes again. <laughs> We're going for the world record for most Yidris casts. Oh, his life total can't change. Otherwise, I'd help you kill Dan right now. Uh, I, I am I untouchable. Can't. I don't think I can kill Dan anyway. Oh, out I of out of out of. Play. I have protection from everything. I can't. And my life total can change. All right. Um, and then I get to draw a card. Uh, okay. Well, um, this is unfortunate, but I guess I will attack. Dance a monarch, too. That's really lame. Um, and I, I actually forgot to draw my card off the monarch as well <laughs> on the last turn. Uh, I'll attack Adam, I suppose, for five. I won't block. All right. Uh, so you take five, Yidris triggers, and I will pass. <laughs> Hold on, before Dan's turn. Yes. I will use the rest of my mana to cast Sublime Epiphany. I will choose return target non-land permanent. I will return Yidris to your hand. Okay. Um, I will create a token of target Adric and Nev that I can... No, that doesn't work. You don't have Sakashima in play anymore. I don't have Sakashima. I don't have an 8-8. Eight eight. All right. Cool. Are you going to draw a card? Oh, I draw a card, and then I draw five cards, because I did create a token of Adrix and Nev that died immediately. Oh, that was the purpose yeah. of doing it? Yeah. Okay. Smart. So then draw five. All right. All right. Untap, and everything phases in. And Adrix and Nev dies. Um, oh, I put Idris in my hand instead of the command zone, because I'd like to cast him for only four next turn, so... And he's yeah. a draw card, and he's so he's basically protected. And Adam well. did not recast Shieldred, so we will make a spirit. You're the monarch, Dan. Again. I know. Oh, I don't make a spirit. Thank you. <laughs> you make an angel. I know. <laughs> and yeah, you're right. Absolutely. I'm going to make a four four angel this time, which is a six six angel. Dirty. And then we'll go down to twenty eight turns remaining. We're almost out of time. <laughs> okay, then draw. And I'm going to tap idle to draw. Oh, that's pretty gross. That's pretty gross. I'm going to play a bright climb pathway. That is gross. That's not the gross one. 
Um, oh, so Elish Norn is back in play if anyone needs to do anything about that. I don't think you do. I think it was just Dylan. Uh, Keth is, oh, he's 2 4. He's a 3 4, and Saval is a 2 4. So now a 1 2 and a 0 2. Okay, I'm going to. I'm going to cast Cathar's Crusade. Oh, oh baby. <laughs> that, is, that, that is actually gross. <laughs> and then I'm going to move to combat. And at the start of combat, I'm going to choose to... Um... Oh, boy. Let's see. Dylan has no creatures, right? So... Uh, yeah. Uh, Dylan is going to put a plus one plus one counter on creatures he controls. Oh, I don't which get a two he, one. He can, which he can respond to, and I'm going to make a two one spirit. Okay. Or an inkling, I mean, sorry, inkling, and um, that's going to trigger Cathar's Crusade, which will then put a plus one plus one counter on creatures I control. And then I'm going to attack. And let's see, Taylor, what do you have in play? What does Adam have in play? You just have the Colney Heart. Yeah, you have no uh, creatures. Yep. And uh, I have a Kethis and a Silvala. And a Nissa. Well, and a Nissa, yeah. So I have a total of five, ten. Um, Four, six, sixteen, two, three, four, five, six, uh, twelve. So I can deal out twenty-eight damage here. Um, I'm gonna have Shadrix attack. I think we're just gonna kind of evenly split this, but we're gonna make sure that Nissa dies. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Shadrix is going to attack. Taylor. Yeah. And one of these spirits. Or wait, how many counters does Nissa have? Six. Damn it. <laughs> you never <laughs> quite kill him. One short every time. Um, he kills well, Shadrix could kill him. The Shadrix yeah. is just going to have to attack Nissa. I wanted the commander damage, but you know. Um, Shadrix is going to attack Nissa because I just have to get rid of that thing. Um,. And then both these spirits are going to attack Taylor and Elish Norn is going to attack Dylan. So I'm taking six. I'm taking Nissa seven. dies. And then I'm going to, before, uh, before damage, I'm going to activate oh. Vault of the Archangel and give my creatures Death Touch and Lifelink. Excellent. Oh, and good. Gain 28. Good, good, good. Oh, now, now he's tapped out, though. He can't do Fairy's Protection anymore. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do that anymore for a couple of reasons. Uh, and then I will pass the turn, and at the end of my turn, Monarch will trigger, and I'll draw a card. Untap. I'll keep. There. Look, everyone's at close life totals now. Isn't that great? Uh, yeah, is, are you part of everyone? Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> everyone else. Taylor, I want to give you all your creatures back, but if I do that, Elish Norn just kills them. Um, Elish Norn kills the squirrels, and but not the centaurs. Oh, yeah, the centaurs live. <laughs> not the centaurs. I, I mean, I get, I get to keep a good amount of things. I get to keep everything except for the squirrels. And the the these three, so I, I mean, I would I'd get a lot of stuff. Okay. So feel free is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got that. <laughs> uh, so I'll play an island for turn. Oh, 
Um, I will then cast Grow Spiral. And I will put Snow Covered uh, Forest into play. Three, five. The out of time finally leaving. Seven. It lasted longer than I expected, to be fair. It lasted too long. <laughs> Assuming it's going away. Yeah, we'll see. Some of Dylan's plans haven't quite been um, fully formulated yet. I'm expecting this plan to come out of the oven a little raw in the middle still. <laughs> How most my plans feel, bud. Ah. <laughs> uh. I just have no way to deal with the Elish. That doesn't do what I want to do. All right, I'm risking it for the biscuits. Uh, uh, paying seven. Turn timber? Turn timber, Symbiote. Turn timber. Oh, you're, you're about to get bit. Yeah, you're about I to get absolutely get nothing. <laughs> or like it'll be a really big Sakura Tribe Elder. Yep. But it won't actually be big anymore because of the Lushnorn. It's just going to die. <laughs> no, it comes in with the counters, yeah, so it won't die. But It'll be like a normal size tribe elder. Yeah. When all is said and done. What do I put into play? A creature? Yes. <laughs> and if it's a little baby creature, it gets some counters. Hmm. Your camera is so fuzzy that i have to like type in every card that you have it was good well i think the comments would disagree <laughs> mm -hmm. let us know in the comments below how it's living. how was dylan's camera because i think it was bad <laughs> uh, focus on picking your creature well, you're the one talking to me we're an hour and 20 minutes in already don't think the camera change is going to fix anything at this point that's fair uh yeah we'll do that we're putting timeless witness into play nice i'm gonna okay. return uh it'll die but it'll return uh pongo yeah, fight in my hand it's not three mm. or less there we go there we go get the pongo fi can get rid of that elish now and then i will Pongify the Elish Norn. But the out of time stays. Yes. So yes. Okay. Uh, Elish Norn dies. I get a 3 3 monkey. I, unlike Adam, I'm not prepared for the monkey. So I'm just going to put in a copy token. Um, and when a creature enters the battlefield under my control, all of my creatures get a plus one, plus one counter. I'm going to lose a Simic Growth Chamber and a Forest at the end of my turn and pass. Tap. Draw. I'm going to parlay. So each player reveals the top card, and I gain a. What is it? Non land card revealed this way, I add green to my mana pool and then each player draw and I gain a life and each player draws. I reveal Safi. Talisman. Shale Dean of Radiance. So I gain four green. And I gain four life. Is that rapid hybridization, Dylan? It is. There's a Pongify sitting right on top. Oh, does it go back on top of my deck? No, you draw it now. Oh, okay. What he's saying is, is you should have blown up the out of time. It wouldn't have been a bad call, apparently, but you couldn't have known that you had another Pongify effect. On I'll the use deck. two of the the mana well, to didn't get it play time. Reiki. Okay. I'll play a Snowfield Sinkhole, tapped. Interesting. White, white, black, 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 with the two green floating. 
cast Eerie Ultimatum. What the heck is that? Oh. Or any number of permanent cards with different names from your graveyard. Return them. Hold on. Oh, hey. Guy, Dan, will you promise not to kill me if I deal with this? Sure. Hey, I'm not That's getting a... a lot back. Yeah, what is Adam getting back, actually? I'd like to know oh. before we just start panicking. <laughs> I'm getting... I would get back uh, Takanuma, Kaya the uh, an Exhauster. I can't pronounce that word. Inexorable. Yeah, inexorable. Okina, Nissa, Eternal Witness, and Kalatus. That's a lot. I mean, I personally don't really care about that list of stuff. What what can the E-Witness get back? Uh, I can get back all oh, Darmany's Call, Final Parting, Anguish on Making, Mythos mm-hmm. of Nethroy, and Vindicate. Actually, I do care. <laughs> hey, I can you get will a... not kill me on your next turn if I, if I stop. I will not kill you on my next turn. Okay. Dylan, Here's I can get negate. rid of all the time. Here's your negate. <laughs> Dylan's <laughs> made an alliance with me, apparently. <laughs> That's fine. Dylan, I could have gotten rid of the negate, or the out of time. Can you get rid Someone... of the negate? Because your spell's <laughs> negated. <laughs> Dylan has chosen his path, and he is not wavering. This, this, does, rid of... this does fit with my understanding of Dylan in real life as well. This, <laughs> my half this is completely on character. Have to go all the way through. I think either way, uh, I don't, it's it's not bad either way. I think. Well, I have to start playing cards. I drawing five cards a turn cycle or six cards a turn cycle, and like none of them do anything except for cost seven mana or counter. <laughs> I'll cast uh, Sophie. Yeah. I'll draw a card off of uh, Reiki. Yeah. You guys realize if I win this that we have to turn this into a like beat Dan show, right? <laughs> we'll <laughs> have to play Arc Enemy. We'll have to get one of those old Arc Enemy decks. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I will so cast uh, Loyal game. Retainers. Um, I will sacrifice Safi targeting Loyal Retainers. I'll, since I haven't, it's still my first main phase. I'll attack oh. or sacrifice loyal retainers to bring back uh, Calatus. Bring back and send loyal retainers returns off of uh, Safi's ability. Uh, sacrifice loyal retainers to bring back Nissa. Gets me a forest. Seems legit. There's a whole bunch of things and stuff happening. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah. And I'll Good pass. for you, Adam. All right. I'll untap. Draw. Ooh, nice. Okay. Okay, does, is Taylor going to affect things here? Yes. Wait, how did Adam get all his, his Kalidus and Nissa back? Uh, loyal he, retainers and Safi. He Saffy. did a Safi oh. and loyal retainers combo. Got it. Uh, you still have Urberg out, right? Yes, I do. Cool. Uh, cast a Yidris and draw a card. It has haste. Um, it has haste. It does have haste. Oh, I did that out of order, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so I want to do these now. Uh, let's see. Cast a uh, Lonus. I'm sure we don't have um, what's his face, the the Elish Norn anymore. That's true. Elish Norn's very gone. Um, you get to Cascade for uh, nothing. Uh, he hasn't he hasn't hit damaged anybody yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. I, in my head he already all, did. All before combat. Uh, cast a Coiling Oracle. Uh, trigger the Oracle. Trigger the Lonus and get a clue. Uh, so Oracle reveals what elves goes to hand. Um, and I'll cast, uh, actually, well, I, yeah, let's do that now. Which mana do I have? Hmm, let's not do that now. Um, uh, okay, I'll move to combat. Um, you don't have any creatures, right, Dylan? And you're no, 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 you're yeah, attacking yeah. me. Excellent. All right, yeah, I'll attack you for five. Yeah, you are. Um, okay, and then Yudris is going to trigger. Okay. So, 
What but, is Taylor excited about that he drew this turn? Um, you will see. Not right. Well, actually, no. I'm gonna cast the what else first. Uh, so cascade. Um. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's not warp world that he drew. That's what I thought might be happening. Lotus Cobra. That, that works with what else? That's pretty cute. Uh, okay, so those will shuffle on the bottom. I get to search a forest out. Um, yeah, I better do this one. Uh, breeding pool. Uh, I will pay two life. Uh, so Colony Heart is going to trigger. Lotus Cobra is going to trigger. Um, I will add uh, red. And then I, while I'm searching, I'll sacrifice my colony heart since it has three counters now and get a couple of basics. This is all okay. There's no warp world in your hand. Uh, Go for it. Um, so, for swamp, I'll add two or yeah, two more red. So I have three red floating. Um, oh, these both triggered the Lonus, so I now have three clues. Sure missed that Elish Norn, though. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> that Elish Norn really kept me out of the game. Yeah, uh, same. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Everyone was having fun. Just as the Praetors always Intended. do. Yep. Yeah, this has the you should have said Raiders dictated, but it, yeah, that's you know that's <laughs> Praetor. I I don't always put Praetors in decks because they just they they're very zero sum fun cards typically. So there's two more lands and the three floating to cast Conjurer's Closet, uh, Cascade. Ooh, almost had that acidic slime. Uh, get a Timeless Witness instead. Uh, that's going to give me another clue. That's going to get me back Solemn. Uh, I will cast the Solemn. Doesn't really matter what lands I tap, I suppose. Those four. Cast Solemn and Cascade. Get a Farhaven Elf. Um, okay, so two more clues. God, you, your deck is entirely just ways to get lands and mana. <laughs> Exactly. It, I, I probably need to tone it down a little bit, but that's ramp fine. tribal. Yeah, uh, I actually have no basic lands left, but I will shuffle and look. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, uh, ooh, okay. I may have mistaken earlier when I said I don't have anything left because uh, I see something in here. Oh, that you can cascade into? Yeah. With a two drop? Yep, so I will, I'll be doing that as well, because why not? Um, so, cast a talisman, and I'm going to go find a gilded goose here at some point. <laughs> yep, we gotta, you got to do it honest here. I mean, this, it is actually the only thing left, but I actually I can't look at the bottom ones now, because... Uh, I just like to um, I like to see the warp world go away every time. Ugh, I get a thrill out of that. There we go. There's gilded goose. Wow, wonderful! Get the goose. So that's gonna give me one more clue, and it's gonna give me a food token. So it's not all mana. Um. Okay. Yeah, so some of it's card draw. Or, or like, things that can be sacked to make mana. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's my deck. Okay, and then food, clue, talisman, two mana. Uh, I got the clue off of that. This is a big old mess. Okay, and then... It sure is. <laughs> I'm hoping to just take you out of the game so that we don't have to worry about the mess anymore. No, please don't. <laughs> Um, well, I'm kind of afraid that if we don't, then things step. are going to get bad when you hit that warp world. End step, Conjurer's Closet. I'm going to bounce um, the Yidris. Uh, so 
trigger Lonus, trigger Ascendancy, draw a card. Um, and it is now your turn, Dan. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, this is good. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Uh, yep, go for it. All right. Well, I'm going to untap. And... I am going to make an angel because I am still the monarch, which is nice. Everybody's happy about that. How many cards do you have in hand? I can hear your cheer. Um, I have four. I think I have eight now because I drew that card off of the Silvala trigger. Yeah, I have eight. So Cathar's triggers, or is that non-token? Oh, it's, it's not any non creature. It is definitely not non-token. So yeah, the angel will trigger Cathar's Crusade. And then I'm going to... Um, well, actually, I don't know if I need to do that. I will just move to draw. Oh, out of time. Sorry. Do need to remove the counter. 27 turns left, everyone. Heck yes, let's go. 20, 27 turns. Uh, I'm going to play a Marsh Flats and pop it. Bring me down to 48. We'll put eight. Actually, you know what? Just because I can. Because if you... If you got them, you play them. Put a scrub land out. Oh, excellent. Yep. Gotta show up. That straight flex right there. Mm -hmm. That dual land flex. Um. Okay, who has mana untapped? Anybody? I'm on. I'm. You do. Yeah. I'm completely tapped out. Taylor has a few, but Taylor doesn't run non permanent things so it's unlikely that there's a lot that he can do right <laughs> my um bone splitter giant is that what that card is called <laughs> bone crusher giant bone crusher giant let's you go stop me yep um okay so uh to that end then i'm gonna tap one two three four five six um seven eight i'm gonna cast myojin of blooming dawn Okay, hold on. Uh, that's probably going to kill us. Oh. In... Well, it's not going to kill me because Dan said he wouldn't kill me this turn cycle. Yeah. In response for... <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Uh, uh, in any, this, any response? In response, I'm going to sacrifice eight clues and have you reveal the top eight cards of your library down with Lonus. Okay. I think it's, well, I think I got to target you. You probably have the juiciest who would have. Uh, I have, bo I have Lonus, board wipes. So didn't Lonus does, come in. Oh, he has haste. That's he right. Has I'm sorry, I forgot what does yeah. she do again? So he, he's going to, yeah. Okay. So before I declare the target here, uh, sacrifice X clues, target opponent reveals the top X cards of their library. You may put a non-land permanent card with mana value X or less from among them onto the battlefield under your control. There is a... Oh. Yeah, that player then puts uh, puts the rest of the uh, on the bottom of their library in a random order. There is a Terrastodon in my deck. Just put uh, that out there. That's, is that, that's a 9 drop, though, right? Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, please, so. I don't think I'll have anything to help on that. All right. Yeah, let's do Dan then. Let's see what he's got. Dan might have Massacre Girl, which would be hilarious. Oh, please. I don't have Massacre Girl. I don't have the it, female version of it. it. Well, I guess the worms the worms gender is up in the air. <laughs> okay, so I don't, I don't think Massacre Worm would do anything here. <laughs> no, it, it wouldn't. No, Massacre um, Girl would blow a bunch of stuff up, though. Okay, so Myojin hasn't resolved yet. Uh, top yes. eight cards. You yes. have uh, Tesa, Orzov, Scion. Which you don't have white creatures, unfortunately, so that nope. would be wonderful. Uh, Vanishing Verse, no nope. planes, mm -hmm. Vault of Champions. I don't like that. Swamp. Nope. 
Emeria's Call. <sighs> Unbelievable. Anguish on Making. Not and quite. Liliana Dreadhorde General. Ah, oh, that's too bad. So you get a Tesa? Uh, right. it, has to, it has to be a creature. No, it's not. It's it's uh, non land. Non -land. Non -land permanent. I'm gonna take the Liliana. Yeah, he's okay. 100 taking Lily. Yeah. Enjoy like your that. Liliana. Him. <laughs> Hopefully, she'll soak up some damage here. <laughs> well, um, I don't know if you've done the math, Taylor. No, he kills us. <laughs> uh, so makes... Myojin, Myojin comes in with an indestructible counter. And then I'm going to immediately remove that indestructible counter to make 21 spirits and trigger Cathar's Crusade 21 times. Yeah. Oh, that seems good. So um, let's make this simple. I guess here's put a, I'm going to put a spirit into play. And it is just going to be very very big I'm going to put this 12 upside down to be 21 <laughs> there's 21 of them with 21 counters on them everything else is 21 counters as well I like I'm not going to sit here on video and put yeah, yeah no it's good mm -hmm. um, now I'm, we see if you're a man of your word though I am a man of my word of course um, send everything at Adam <laughs> yes <laughs> it won't be everything at Adam, unfortunately <laughs> um okay i do need to know how many flying creatures people have i got nothing i have one. Oh, the goose the goose the, go the goose <laughs> the goose is here to save your goose yeah. indeed and uh, you unfortunately just need to... i have too many flying creatures you, you just, just need to send shadrix at me and i die Yes, uh, no, Shadrix send, is... Send Shadrix at me and send everything else at Adam. No, Shadrix is coming <laughs> at Adam. Great. Dan, use yeah, Shadrix. Move, move to combat, just to be clear. Use Shadrix. Shadrix's ability. To give um, me a token? Why would I give you a token right you now? Like I could draw five cards? Yeah. Look, I'm not killing you. That's plenty of mercy. <laughs> Dylan, you can put a plus one, plus one counter on all of your creatures. Oh, Nice. And That's I'm cool. going to put a uh, two one and trigger into play. Trigger and trigger a Cathar's yeah. Crusade <laughs> to make thing everything just even bigger. Which I still don't have. There's an invisible twenty one on him. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, uh, Shadrix is coming at Adam, and then we have one, two, three flyers. Coming at Taylor. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice a food and gain tree life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then promptly die. And then and yeah. take a lot of damage. Yeah, yes. I died to first strike commander damage. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> he is a, uh, let's see, two plus 20. He's a 28. Yeah, that's the commander damage that kills you. Huh? You're at one life and you die to the commander damage. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, cool. And then, uh, and then I'm just going to pass the turn. Um, your Liliana is exiled. I don't know how that works when. No, she just goes to the graveyard then. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Tough up. It's not going to matter. Yeah, I know, but. Uh, I am going to. Uh, probably just die, but yeah. Oh, I was supposed to draw a card to the monarch and then discard a card. Sorry, so draw uh, and then. Discard. Yeah, you got me. There's nothing Shale. I can. Wait, no, I might be able to dig here. Hold on. Okay, go. Just try, okay. try and do it. Champion of wits. Uh. Enters the battlefield to draw cards equal to the, its power. If I do discard two cards, so oh. I draw two. I think you paid four mana for that. You only need I three. Paid three. Right? I only paid three. Oh, I thought this there was one card under Moss Bird. Yeah. Oh, yep. Okay, okay. So. Champion Wits is a big out of focus Naga. <laughs> Naga Wits, yeah. Uh... We are going to. Rapid hybridization, the champion of wits. 
we get a 3-3. Nice. Which then lets us tap these to draw five. Yeah. And oversimplify. You would still die. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's pretty true. Five. Six. Uh, yeah. The Eternal Eyes is seven mana. Yeah, I think you got me. Seven yeah. mana lies, eternalize the champion of wits. Um, he's exiled as a four four. I draw four cards, discard two. Uh, discard those two. Play a island cast cackling counterpart on uh, the Myojin. Okay, it does not come in with a, uh, an yeah, indestructible counter. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, no. Wait. Oh, if you cast it from your hand. Yep. No, we're good. Good game. All right. And also, good game. cackling good game. counterpart is a uh, creature you control. Oh, true. I didn't even oh, click on Oh, well, it. then champion of wits and discard more cards. You get a draw. I wasn't getting there. I was looking for one of five. Myojin, oh. Myojin of Blooming Dawn is a hell of a card. Well, Cathar's Crusade is really just... Stupid. Cathar, yeah. yeah. I, yep. I had the effort. Uh, so I had Pest uh, Control, Pest Infestation, and I was going to blow up Cord of Grace, Cathar's Crusade, and the Phase Out card. Oh, you should have totally done that. Um, and uh, that was my mistake. I apologize because that would have gave me the the t uh, tokens to trigger this on that round because mm, yep. I didn't get to draw five cards last round. I'm gonna chalk that up to you just not seeing Cathar's Crusade in play before or something. <laughs> I assume. Uh, yeah, I. It's have... not a card you can uh, let sit. Yeah. No, and I could have gotten rid of. We could have gotten rid of Dan if you would have let the your in the loot go. If you let what go? If he would have let, if he didn't not counter your interlude. Oh, oh. Eerie, right. Adam, I would like to ask you who blew up Yidris when Eerie I ultimate him. Of him. Yes, because you're going to make a lot of tokens of him. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> well, in, in any case, guys, it was, a, it was actually a pretty sweet game where we had various threats throughout the whole time. Yeah. And, it was great. Uh, Yidris was doing wild stuff. Uh, Adrix and Niv and Sakashima got extremely scary out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, Adam had his fun things countered, so he had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, Catherine's crusade was as busted as it has always been. So, yeah. uh, good game, guys. That was a lot of fun. Thank you, guys, uh, for tuning in. If you watched this long, this is a long one. Hour forty-seven. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, as always, we're going to put the names of our patrons here, which um, are actually all of our uh, th three of our patrons are playing me right now. So we have a, a wonderful game full of our great patrons. And you too can be a patron for as low as the price of half of a booster pack a month. And you can support us making this content and uh, get a lot of free stuff. Hey, we just put up our merch store, by the way. And our patrons just got sent a 25% gift uh, or 25% coupon to our merch store. So, Hey, if you want some like immediate gratification on that, um, on that patronage, we will immediately send you something, uh, send you a coupon code right away. So, um, Hey, hop on that links down below. Appreciate it though. I appreciate all your uh, support throughout this, uh, the, the months that we've been doing this and, um, really look forward to making more content for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that one and stay tuned for the next one till then have fun gaming.